Technically, he's a native Oregonian, born in Portland, raised in Medford, but because he has spent so much of his adult life in Idaho, today we're claiming him as his own on the 53rd anniversary of his gold medal winning performance at the 1968 Mexico City Summer Games. On October 20th, 1968, Dick Fosbury introduced the world to what's now known as the Fosbury Flop. And the name may not sound familiar, but if you know anything about the high jump, you've known these athletes do the Fosbury flop. Now, the man affectionately known as Foz now lives in Sun Valley. He's actually the chairman of the Blaine County Commissioners up there. And in 2016, as the Rio Summer Olympics were heating up, our very own Mark Johnson went up to Sun Valley to learn more about how Fosbury became an international superstar by changing the game, the entire game of high jumping. <laughs> it would take a few years for the Fosbury flop to catch on from its humble beginnings in the mid 60s at Medford High. But when Dick Fosbury started flying higher than anyone else, the world started to notice. 1968 was a was a breakthrough uh, where I went from, you know, the top 50 in the United States to number one in the world. Seven feet, four inches. That was the height he needed to clear in Mexico City to win the gold medal. It wasn't a world record, but it was an Olympic and national record, and it was pure gold. I didn't know how I did it, I just knew I got there. And then landing in the pit, and coming out celebrating, and the stadium was, was going uh, crazy. A life-changing moment for a man who would become the sports ambassador, and still is. These days, Dick Fosbury spends his time helping develop young talent at high jump camps around the country. Run and jump, and then hit your landing. And he spends as much time as he can around his neighboring track team at Wood River High. His legendary status in the sport not lost on the young men and women 50 years his junior. When you're doing the Fosbury flop and then all of a sudden Dick Fosbury flies into the track, you're going, is this the guy? <laughs> so I think most of them kind of figure that out. I love working with kids and we've got the Simplot Games track camp. So, you know, it's great for the state of Idaho. Again, fun fact, Dick Fosbury is a Blaine County commissioner these days and he has been since 2019. In the year 2018, Oregon State, his alma mater, they unveiled a statue of him to celebrate the 50th anniversary of his gold medal. Fosbury was inducted into the Olympic Hall of Fame in 1992 and was the first recipient of the Idaho Sports Humanitarian Award. If you haven't tried the Fosbury flop, give it at least a shot. Maybe not today and make sure you have something soft to land on, but it's something everyone should try once, right?